Hey everybody, um, decided at the last minute to take Odin on his first overnight camping trip in the woods. Um, we were at Deer River State Forest, um, not too far from our house. In case things go bad, I can take him back. Um, no water on this site, which he's not happy about. But uh, I made the decision, got ready to go, packed everything up, um, got us here. Drove up and down the road trying to find a spot. Missed this one because it's not easy to see on the way up. Um, I have a video on scouting Deer River campsite and then Dan and I actually stayed here one time so you can check those videos out. We stayed down the road further. But I'm having to sleep in the tent because Odin can't do the hammock thing. Uh, I also popped up the screen tent behind me. That's uh, got that from Walmart. That's an Ozark Trail. It's a nice tent for what it was cost. We just had uh, hamburgers. I will flip this around. Well, there's Odin. He, he refuses to sleep on the towels that I got him. There's the old Ozark Trail tent. For the price of that tent, I got it a couple years ago, $35 or something like that. You can't beat it, uh, I don't think. Um, that's Odin's bed that he won't use and a blanket I'm going to take in for him in the tent. The food, His food and water. There's the cooking station and the vehicle. The road is that way. Um, there's a nice chunk of wood here for us tonight so once it starts to the sun starts to settle um we'll uh get a fire going i've gathered some other firewood here i got some paper garbage in there ready to go the site goes quite a ways um somebody has built another ring back here this the problem with these sites is they're right on the road and everybody and their brother uses them and there's garbage everywhere um so i'll pick some of that up before i go but somebody built a second fire ring back here, and as you can see, there's all kinds of junk back there. I don't know what goes on down there. Most likely people have been crapping in the woods here. So, that's a brief tour of the campsite. Here's the cooking rig I've been using. I'm not sure I've showed this close up before. Um, it's a Coleman dual fuel stove. Which means worst comes to worst, you can use that uh, gasoline in this thing. Um, <coughs> got my um, oh blue heron, I think that is. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Um, Lodge cast iron pan, with cheeseburger in it. This is the main fuel tank. But what I did is I bought this little doohickey here that replaces that, and you can burn these little fuel canisters. So it actually makes it with just this little attachment which wasn't very expensive um that's a uh three fuel stove gas they say if you use gas and it clogs everything up so that gas is like you know crap it's the fan kind of deal and you have to use whatever you get that's why i got this particular model um i figure the more options i have in the event of a situation even a power outage or something um the better off i am with it it's hard to cook on here because the you have to keep these windscreens out because your pans don't sit center with these windscreens on there. So you've got a, got a big pan like that anyway. So you've got to keep your windscreens out. And these, these little things here adjust your windscreen. You don't really work past that. Pop that in. It's a good little stove. Oh, it's, it was like a hundred dollars or something like that. Um, I got the. Lucy lights sitting out here, one regular size, one one. It's the emerge. Oh, those two sitting out, getting a little charge. The anchor. I don't have much sunlight in here, but you'd be surprised that I think this little thing is still. Yeah, the anchor's generating power there. Anchor solar panel. So I don't know how much power it's doing. I'm charging the iPad off of this little anchor stick. It was at nine percent a few minutes ago, and, and now it's. Now it's at 11%, uh, so it's, it's working. Uh, it's not super fast or anything, but there he is. I don't know what he thinks of this. He insists on laying on the ground instead of laying on the towels or the bed. So once I get the fire going, he's not going to like that. He does not like, he does not like fires. Keep the water jug right by his water bowl because I got to fill it up pretty regular. It's kind of hot. It's probably in the low 80s anyway. Um, yeah, so here's the Ozark Trail tent. It's got a cool little thing if you're really not roughing it. They got a little power pocket there so you can 
slip a cord in there if you're running the generator. I'm just rocking an old Marmon, not Marmon, Marmot sleeping bag that I've had for, it's synthetic, that I've had for, geez, probably since college. Uh, and I got an old Thermarest pad in there. I, I don't really like pads because I slide around on them, but uh, that's what I got going. I'll, I'll throw that blanket in there in the bed maybe if Odin wants it. And if Odin doesn't want it, maybe I'll sleep on it because at least I can get half myself on that. Uh, and if there was water, it would complicate things a little bit because he would want to he'd want to swim. And then I'd have to worry about drying him off before he he got in the tent, so there's the wide shot of the tent. Screen tent. We'll get in that once the sun goes down. I think the bugs will probably get pretty bad. So I started the fire, and as predicted, Odin got as far away from it as he could while still being able to see me. And this hinges from an episode we had where I was trying to start a bonfire and I had some oil and gas mixture that I didn't shake and I poured it on the fire and shot a fireball into the sky about 20 foot and there was an explosion and singed the hair off my arms and he took off and that was probably at least five years ago. Uh, I've never done it since, but he does not trust me with fire at this point. I can't light the barbecue grill, um, a match or anything. He takes right off. So he does not forget. Somebody left that log on there. I'm gonna let that burn and then I'm gonna snap it off. Movie, movie, movie time. The Flash Gordon. Well, guys, it's we made it through the night. It's um, nine something this morning. Uh, on Sunday it's been raining a little tiny bit not much since about six on and off we got up went to the bathroom I fed Odin and had a little snack and then we came back in here and he's been laying on his on and off his bed right buddy you good boy yeah. Oops. So, oh, there it comes. Didn't sleep much last night because uh, he was restless and his bed makes a lot of noises you probably can hear as he walks. So he was restless and he was moving around a lot, breathing heavy and kind of warm for him. Um, fidgeting and whatnot. Plus, I was falling off my my sleeping pad. I was warm enough though. Um, I just used my sleeping bag like a underquilt and did all right with that. And I just slept in shorts and a t-shirt. Oh, um, we're probably gonna get up here and try to do try to do some breakfast. Um, oh, come on, you're panting too much, buddy. <laughs> okay, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. So, we're definitely, uh, there we go. Definitely appreciate being in a hammock, uh, after sleeping on this. This is the first time I've been in a tent and in a while since I've gotten the hammock and uh, I 
was definitely more comfortable in a hammock. This was this was rough. So if I'm not taking him, which I don't know that he really enjoyed this all that much actually, um, I'll probably just stick to the hammock. Definitely proved my point. A point there that most people say they're more comfortable in a hammock. All right, well we're gonna get up here shortly, so we'll end this. Got a couple of sausages on breakfast. I was gonna do eggs and I also have some bacon, but I don't know, that may be a little too much. Uh, seems to be clearing up a little bit. So that's good, hopefully the tent will have time to dry off and the screen tent will have time to dry off before we have to go. What do you think, Emily? Huh? You wanna get some food, buddy? Yeah. I still don't know how thrilled he is with this whole thing. <coughs> Owen's helping with dishes. Doing his part. I did do scrambled eggs. Uh, I basically shut the stove off and just cooked him with the heat that's in the pan because those cast iron pans get hot but um they were still a little mushy could use a little heat and i didn't have any salt and pepper so they weren't that great but odin, odin liked them and he's finishing off the pan now my clearly my seasoning on the pan is not uh, as good as what dan's was in that in that last video i did with him and uh, nick because his wife had that pan seasoned perfectly the eggs didn't even stick the eggs stuck like crazy on mine so I'm gonna have to figure out how to properly season this pan. I've looked it up before, but it just seems like really complicated and I just, I never do it. So maybe I'll give it to Dan's wife and let her see if she'll do it for me. Odin's enjoying the trip better now that he's had breakfast. Right, buddy? He's a good boy.